My back pain, it went back years. Some days I would go to stand up and I would literally get stuck that I couldn't walk or move. The pain would be so bad and it would be debilitating. I would just stand in one spot. I couldn't move. In the beginning, I would see Dr. DeLuca and he would give me shots. I would get epidurals. Epidurals didn't help. I would get shots like in my hip. And they seemed to help somewhat early on, but later nothing helped. He kind of alluded to the fact that I would need a fusion. Then toward the end, he kind of mentioned this top surgery. The TOPS clinical trial is a national study being performed at roughly 32 institutions across the country in which we're looking to see if there's an alternative to spine fusion for a condition known as degenerative spondylolisthesis in the lumbar spine. The TOPS procedure is an alternative to treat that same exact condition, but rather than fuse, we put an implantable device that allows motion. It all started out about three and a half years ago with a lot of uh, pinching sensation, jagging, nerve-related uh, discomfort in the lower back. As it progressed, it became more uh, apparent down the leg. On a scale of one to 10, it had to start somewhere. It started out about a three, and it progressed very rapidly to about a six, seven, and prior to surgery, it was a constant nine, nine and a half to a 10. We talked about fusion surgery. So I gave it some time, went back and saw Dr. DeLuca and said, I'm ready. I'm ready for fusion surgery. He came into the room that day and he looked at me and he did some measurements of my spine and looked at the x-rays, the MRIs again, and he said, Chuck, he says, you're actually a candidate for a study that I'm working on for the TOPS program. Currently, the study is done again across the country here in the U.S. It's FDA approved. The enrollment is for a blinded study, which means patients who enter the study won't know if they're going to get the TOPS or the fusion, but two-thirds of the study will get the TOPS device, which again is the mobile implant. I remember coming out of anesthesia, my friend Susie standing at the bottom of my bed with her right thumb up in the air, and I knew what that meant. That meant I had the top surgery. And I said, oh my gosh, I have no pain. I'm pain free. This is the first time in three and a half years that I have not had pain in my back. I can decorate my Christmas tree <laughs> without, without help. I can carry, carry things up the stairs that I couldn't carry up the stairs. And I walk morning and afternoon so that I can keep my momentum and try to get into it more and get back my exercise that I wasn't getting at all because I really wasn't doing much of anything before. Prior to the surgery, I had to plan activities, be it go to church, go to the grocery store, go to a movie. I had to plan it around back pain. It's non-existent now. So from that standpoint, it has been like life changing. The hypothesis of the study is that the TOPS will do equally as well, if not better, in alleviating symptoms in the short term, as well as hopefully preventing adjacent level problems in the future. The TOPS device is constrained in all the normal planes of motion, so it really does restore normal motion of the lumbar spine. I've not seen anything this revolutionary uh, in, the, in the 10 years I've been in practice, and I'm extremely excited about where this device is gonna take us into the future.